Hello everyone! Today we are going to be looking at biomes and how to make biomes in World Painter and how to make them look good and whatnot. And the two main ways of making biomes I'm gonna look at today and show you how to do is for one, using flow maps, importing flow maps into your world, and then also using angles and making biomes with angles. Yeah. What a fucking boring video. Alright, so as you can see, I'm in World Machine. I whipped together a nice little map here. Very colorful. It's like an LSD type map, as you can see, right? So what we're going to need for the biomes on this is uh, these white lines, you see? Uh, basically what these are is they show where, where water and sediment and that sort of stuff carries down. So they're all, these are the erosion lines. And to get those you click on the last erosion node you have and there are these four dots here on the side, right? The different outputs and there's the primary output of course which is the shape of the terrain but the second one is the flow map. And this is what we're gonna need for, for biomes and getting these things in game, right? So what you wanna do is you wanna grab a, an output, a height output node and you're just gonna wanna attach this to the height output node. That way you can export it in the same way that you export the height or like the actual height map and we're just gonna export both of these things and then import them into world painter all right so I just imported the height map in game as you can see this is the map I just had in, uh, in world machine uh, the way you do this you just click on file import new world from height map and then you can choose the file you want right here and so now what we need to do is we need to get the flow map on top of this and the way you do that is you click on edit import mask as terrain or layer and then we're going to click on these three buttons and select the uh the file or the flow map in this case that we want to overlay over the terrain once you have it selected you're going to want to change None of the scaling on this unless you have a really large map and it's only a portion of it that you're trying to Then you can offset it by I don't know whatever you need, but you have to play around with that to make it fit uh, We're gonna want to click Apply as layer annotations. We're gonna click white because it's a black and white uh, map If you add color in the flow map, which you can also determine with a color node in world machine Then you could have chosen a color or full range That's what you do when you want to have multiple biomes, but for this tutorial I'm just gonna do it with one biome or two biomes just to demonstrate the way it's supposed to work. Then you click OK, and boom. The flow map has now been overlaid, and it looks grainy as hell for some reason, which I have no idea why that is, but I don't know, I guess it'll serve good for this tutorial. Okay, you're gonna wanna click the global operations at the top here, click fill with biome. Choose what biome you wanna use for the thing because right now so by default the entire map is planes so we're going to choose a biome that we want the white spots to be um let's choose a river because you'll be able to see that nicely and we're going to click only on annotations white because that's what this is these are white annotations we're going to go go boom then go on annotations turn off the show and you'll be able to see down here at the bottom where it says biome right down here that it's always switching back and forth between plains and river now you don't really see it in this thing you can turn on biomes I think somehow show boom here now that I turn the biomes on you can see where river is and where plains is and now if we export this it'll look pretty cool so let's just export it real quick one more thing I forgot to mention is that the default biome is always planes unless you use a frost layer then the biome that you'll have as a base is gonna be ice spikes I think all the other stuff works the same just except if you don't if you use like the uh, the layering technique that I mentioned last time with the frost layer is not gonna be planes as the biome is gonna be ice spikes so you're gonna have to change that manually um, Alright, I just joined the world and as you can see we got the map here, right, and the biomes worked as well. I added another, I added the layers above it still, just so we can get, see what it'll look like on layer terrain, you know, trying to incorporate the tutorials from the previous videos. But yeah, as you can see the biomes worked. 
It looks all right. Sadly, with uh, with the new biome systems and the way biomes work nowadays, there isn't really much more you can do. I mean, besides adding more, of course, like you can always add more biomes. So this is just with two biomes, so I guess that also makes it look a little bit strange. But I know back in the day, like when I told that to you, we're still able to get like striations. But since then, they changed the uh, the biome engine, the way Minecraft works with biomes and World Painter and such. Back in the day, you'd have one biome per one by one block, so each block you could have is their own biome. Nowadays, they come in like pillars that are in each pillar is four by four. That's why they these all look a lot more like I don't know chunky. You don't get the striations like you used to. I'll pop a picture up on stream to show what it used to look like. All right, so I'm editing this video right now, right? Pasting these two images that I said that I would, right? And I forgot how fucking beautiful these lines are, bro. Like the old biomes and whatnot, told that too, were so fucking nice. It's actually ridiculous. I remember this was, I think, the only reason why I was hesitant to switch over to 1.15 when that came out was literally because of the biomes. Because the end, they nerfed the biome engine so much. It's actually ridiculous. I mean, it's not like they like completely made them useless but biomes used to add so much to a world now they're just like all blobshy and chunky and i don't know man <laughs> man it's a sad it's a cruel world we live in dog <laughs> yeah so as you can see back in the day bro everything was better everything was so much nicer but yeah low-key bro this ain't even bad it looks a bit barren right now just because you don't have any foliage no plants no trees no nothing on top of it right and you can pr you can add as many biomes as you want above this right so like i said if you color the flow map using a, a color node in world machine you can really go 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 crazy on the biomes you want to use but yeah this still shows just how how to roughly put vibes into game i don't know it works it's not half bad it's not half bad all right so i cleared all the biomes from the map again so the flow map's gone now we have the blank terrain and the second method that i'd say works pretty well for biomes is literally just using angles to paint in the biome so if you go to global global operations fill with biome uh i don't know let's choose uh, the river one again where is it there river and then you do click above i don't know let's make it 30 anything above 30 degrees go boom see that way all the like cliff faces or the uh the steeper parts will be painted in this biome we could have also gone even a little bit higher than that but still let's do that again we can do fill with biome this time we'll choose desert know, what do we do for 30 this time we'll go 45 and now only the little parts so this is the other way that you can make terrain that also looks solid um i'm gonna export this real quick to show you guys what it looks like all right i just joined into the world now again uh as you can see this is the second way we do terrain or this is the second way we do biomes uh, just by using angles and not flow maps this time and it worked as you can see the uh the biomes on the steeper parts have been changed to river and desert I don't know, it looks cool. I feel like for certain types of terrain, this is definitely gonna look a lot nicer. Like, especially when you try to get like, I don't know, drier areas or where you want like the, uh, the cliffs to be a little bit lighter, but still to be grass, or the, the steeper parts. And this works, personally, I prefer the flow map way of doing things, but this one is a lot more easy, a lot easier and like a lot more accessible for people that don't have World Machine. <laughs> So yeah, this definitely works as well. And I know if done right, you can definitely make this look very good as well. I can pop some pictures on screen, on screen of uh, of examples of where this looked very nice. Yeah, and honestly, that's really all there is to biomes. Like, they look very nice, and if they're done right, they can really accentuate certain aspects of your terrain. Um, I wouldn't rely too heavily on them just because there are many issues with them, and they are, in certain situations, very hard to work with. But, yeah, looked pretty cool. I hope this helped to show you guys, like, how to work with them at least a little bit. I think most of the things are pretty self-explanatory. But, yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. See you next time. Bye.